Grades like these are hardly sufficient to pass my class. What are you thinking? If you want to get in the proper college, you've got to work. And I mean work. This won't handle it. I mean, my gosh, look at this. What are you thinking? You're better than this, I thought. But then again, your sister was better than this, but you certainly Well, are. the thing is, I really, I, I just want to date other girls. An F in P.E., you little, ah, uh, when I was in P.E., oh, man, um, I don't know what to do, your father gets home, he's gonna tell I know it's hard, but I'm here for you. This isn't who I want to be. I'm here for you whenever you're ready. Mmm, hey, what's this? Oh, it looks really tasty. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh my god. You should learn to read the instructions. The Bible is written by roughly 40 men over a period of about 2,000 years. It is made up of 66 different books and is the number one selling book of all time. Why then is this book so important and why and how should we read it? Because it is. Here's what your church had to say about that. To the West. I read the Bible because it's very fulfilling. It's a chance for me to get my perspective back, get my priorities straight, and it's just a, it's a place of, it's a time for recovery, it's a time for um, rest. If I didn't have a Bible to read, it would change my life a great deal. I wouldn't, I would get way off base. I wouldn't know where to gauge my life. I wouldn't know how to stay focused. I would, I would have a place of reference, and so I would, I would believe somebody else. I would believe what the world is telling me. I would believe what uh, talk show hosts are telling me, and I would not have a personal reference of what I believe personally. When you when you read the Bible, it gives you a standard to live your life, and um, it gives you a discernment, and. Um, and just the truth that you can hold everything up against. I read it everywhere. It's like, yeah, I was reading it on the Grand Valley Transit uh, Friday. It was fun. And there were, it was interesting because people were like, you know, you should read this kind of this verse and this verse. And there's people you wouldn't even think that read the Bible. So it was like, hmm, pretty interesting. I go on the internet. I use a lot of the online Bibles. It's easy to see. I'm always working on computers. So I can kick back and read while I'm working on stuff or read while I'm listening to music. And so I, I actually, I'm a big internet user. Bible.com. Read this thing and then go beyond it and dig into it because it's, it's full of treasure. And I hate to say that because that's so cliche-ish, but it's the truth. All the evidence is there. If you just if you just look, research, and even go beyond the Bible, you'll find all, everything that's in it is true. Like it really comforts me when I'm going through a hard time, and um, it also has I don't know. It's just to learn more about God, and it just is a lot of really good guidance that you can apply to your everyday life. And it's just and it's got really cool stories in it. <laughs> yeah. I read my Bible upstairs just in my room alone. I try to have some just really quiet time. I don't really have a specific place that I always read it, but just somewhere sort of secluded where I can have some alone time with God. I believe it is really essential to read the Bible if you want to grow closer to Jesus, and that's a really big thing. And as Christians, I think we have a responsibility to really know what we believe. So, yeah. So in doing this, we discovered that there's a lot of ways you can read your Bible. And there's even more reasons why people read their Bibles. But the rest is up to you.